Hi, I'm Random Trashy and welcome to the channel. So here I've got some holsters from Phobus. Phobus is an Israeli based uh, manufacturer of holsters and firearms accessories but this is real steel equipment. And that is the precursor to this video. If you are watching this video around using these holsters with an airsoft pistol, please make sure that your airsoft pistol is a one for one replica. And you should be able to find out that information on the manufacturer website. The only one I do know of that is commonly oversized is a Glock. So if you're running any of the Wii Glocks, anything like that, then just make sure that it is a one for one replica size or you might struggle to fit it in some of the holsters that are here and available. Um, I must admit when I uh, tested out this I used a Glock 17 and that's from Tokyo Marion here uh, and this is in the uh, tactical light version and it worked fine so you know that is, um, that is one of the things, if you're running a TM then you know that they're probably going to be fine. The rest of the range they cater for all of your common pistols uh, throughout, um, you know, throughout airsoft. This is actually for a 1911. What I'm going to do is put some close-up photos of these, but this has got like an ornate pattern on the front, um, and this is the belt-type retention system. So on the back, you've got your nice paddle here, nice rubber lining on the inside, um, and then you've got your space down the back there. Hopefully, you can just see that, and that's for a two-inch belt system. Now these are fixed at the top, so it means that this one would have to be run with a belt, um, but they're not all like that. As I say, Phobus doing. An absolute ton of selection um, and some of them actually work like this one here so you've got your paddle on the back and then in the middle here you've got a screw and what you get that comes with it is one of these uh, nice allen keys from Phobus you essentially just unscrew it so I'm just going to unscrew this now and you can remove this back paddle section like so um, so you've removed that from there and then what you can use after that is one of the molly conversion plates um, and this has just got the molly straps on the back so you can put this anywhere that is most susceptible so you know belt bag uh, vest whatever and then you can actually put this on here and then what works really nicely is you've got the bite in teeth so that you could run it you know any canted angle on 360 uh, all the way around you can uh, you can run that so if you wanted it you know on the front of your vest canted to one side you know if you're a left-handed right-handed uh, shoot or whatever then you can be able to get to this quite nicely so that is one of the bonuses from Phobus they do do all the accessories like this so that you can get it to work with Molly loads of other different attachment platforms obviously if you wanted to work it on a four inch belt or a wider belt then they will do the accessories for that um, I'm just going to quickly run you through the range here um, obviously if you guys haven't seen the video before they do um, pistol holsters like this which is the tactical light variant so if you've got your buckle on the bottom and then you've got your flap which opens up like that, which allows you to put your pistol in here. If you do want some more information on this, just head back to my channel. There's a full video of this working with one of the uh, Inforce lights and pistols. So that works really, really well. Moving over to some of the other range, we've got a uh, more sort of antique design on a 1911 holster. Really, really nice strong back rail, really, really heavy duty uh, polymer that's used on these as well. So they are really, really rugged. Um, moving over to this, I'm pretty sure that this is for the uh, Wii MMP40. I actually own one of these uh, MMP40s myself as well, so I'm going to be hanging on to one of these. Um, they're really, really handy if you are doing, you know, light tactical days. If you're doing any training or anything like that, you can literally just slide this in behind your waistband of your trousers or jeans or whatever, um, or you can run this, like I say, on a two-inch belt. There is a huge variety from Phobus. If you do want to go and check out the range from Phobus, please head over to tacticalkit.co.uk. They stock all of the products. If you do have an unusual pit pistol or have any questions um, you want to make sure it's going to fit just give the guys at tactical kit a call they're very very helpful they really do know these products inside and out so that's really going to help um, what i'm going to do is just throw up some of the pictures of these and just do it like a bit of a slideshow so you can see the detailing on them they are very very high quality especially for the price if you do have any comments questions about these please make sure you put them in the box below i will get back to you as soon as possible if you want to go and pick up any of the holsters from phobus again just make sure that you head over to tacticalkit.co.uk. The link will be in the description. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all soon.